So let's do the pattern refactoring first and then we will do the model view. I'm going to uh, create a new Swift UI file, click next and call this game pattern. And here I want to copy the text, move here and paste it here. Quickly resume just to see what we are doing here. And we are going to do this game button dynamic. So let me just try again here. All right. So we have our button here, which is nice. Um, since we want to make it dynamic to be able to reuse it, we are going to pass two parameters here. The first parameter of the button will be the title. So let's say let title is type of string and the second will be the background color. And this is type of color. All right, because as you can see from our ready application, we have one with a red background and one with a green background. So the title here, I'm going to change it to my title. And the background, not color green, is gonna be just the background color. And that's it. Here it will say missing arguments because we have put the two arguments here. And for our preview to work, we need to provide it some kind of default arguments. So let's give it a title play and background color will be just red for sake of providing any color. And if I click resume, this should be a play under red color now. So let's go back to our home view and we're going to replace and uh, make our code a little bit tidier here. So all this is no longer necessary. I can get rid of it. Instead, I will just say game button, initialize it with a title play and the background color will be color. And I want the uh, system green color. Okay, uh, command B. And resume here. So our view shouldn't change because, let me just because our colors and everything stays the same and the title is same. If I pass any other title here, let's put a test and see it's automatically changes. So our first button is working and also it's reusable. So we can create this nice button whenever we want. And the second part is let's create a, a home view model. I'm going to create a new Swift UI file call this home view model, click create. And uh, for our Swift, uh, for our view model, uh, we don't really need, need these things. And this is not, doesn't have to be struct. It's going to be final class, home view model, and the body is also not needed. And actually we could just create a standard Swift file, not a Swift UI file. So it's going to be home view model and it's going to conform to observable object protocol. And here we're going to have only one uh, variable, which is our ease game view presented. So I'm going to copy that, move here, paste it. Instead of state, we are going to call this published. Basically, when it's published, every time the state of this uh, variable changes, we are going to publish it whoever is listening. So it's like a radio broadcasting, say, hey, everyone, the East Game View presented value has changed. So whatever your view is dependent on that, please update. This is the published thing. Um, we can get back to our home view here. And instead of uh, having the state variable here, we can start using our model so I can get rid of this and we need to get access of uh, to our home view model so let's say at state object 
variable view model is equals and we are going to initialize home view model now that we have access to our home view model we will automatically have access to this variable that it has we just have to first access our home view model and then we can access our ease game view presented and instead of toggle i'm just going to say this is equals to true because every time we click a play button we want to start our game so this should be true and uh, the same thing we're going to do here instead of just saying is game view presented i'll say view model dot is game view presented and the dollar sign obviously stays before because this is a binding variable so let's run and uh, see if our application is still working if we did everything correctly the behavior shouldn't change so this is working nicely if you want you can change the appearance from here uh, you can do it in the settings not here uh, go to the developer and dark mode you can disable click on the button here and get back to our application so this is our game view so next video we are going to focus on making our game view which uh, eventually will look like this so first we are going to put this notification text here our button a loading view and then our game uh, area here